It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Miami Dolphins and the Seattle Seahawks coming up next. It's a stadium known for its design, its noise, and a fan base so passionate. Rock, you know this firsthand. They've retired a jersey number for them. Welcome, everybody, to Lewin Field here in Seattle, Washington. Thanks for joining us, football fans. Kate Scott, Rock Hewitt in the booth for this one. Rock, any play could be a big play with a type of wide receivers we have here today. It's gotten to the point where you simply can't cover, Kate, the elite receivers in the NFL today. You know they're going to get their looks early and often. And you just hope to contain them because you're exactly right. Any target they get has the chance to be a game-changing play. Here's Jason Myers to get this one going. It'll run away from Seattle. Going to be taken in at the eight. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. So the Dolphins offense headed out for their opening drive. And we'll get a chance to see someone still in the early stages of their career, this third year QB. And even if he's still pretty early in his career, we know he is perfectly comfortable and settled into this spot as the be all end all for this offense. Every time you take the field as a quarterback, you know you're gaining experience. You get more comfortable in the role. And as he goes forward, he tries to learn and take something away from each and every one of these moments. The drive begins with a run from Mostert. And his effort results in maybe two yards, but nothing more. I think we got to be careful, and I'll raise my hand if thinking that play was just a nothing burger. Because what can happen from that tape as he puts some nice toppings on it. A play action pass, a shot that comes down the road from what looked like a very clean play. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Caught him across the line early there. That's an easy call for our officials. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. Offense to the line for second down. Thompson now. This one's taken in by Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not until he reaches that 45-yard line. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. This really isn't a route designed for a lot of yards, Kate. You're just trying to get a small handful and move on to the next down. Stay in rhythm. And anytime you can work some magic after the catch and stretch it out, those are welcome bonus yards. They go play action on first. Catch is made down the right sideline. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins take a 6-0 lead right away. Tyreek Hill, the touchdown. He finds one of his great receivers, Brock, and they are off to a great start to begin this ball game. Yeah, it's such a positive offensively when he could go find not just a field goal, but a touchdown on that opening drive. And defensively, who this starts to shake the foundation of your preparation and makes you wonder what's in store. Jason Sanders to try the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. All set to send it away. 
This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. So out come the Seahawks for their first offensive possession. Now we let out by the 12th-year pro from West Virginia, Geno Smith. When Geno Smith won Comeback Player of the Year, it was really hard to find another comp. You know, the NFL, we love to always compare and contrast guys from different eras or project them moving forward. But there just were not many stories like Geno Smith who just waited and persevered a decade, a decade in the NFL before he flourished. But what came to life finally was just the arm strength, the accuracy, the playmaking ability that was there at West Virginia. And it just took some time and maybe a little love from Pete Carroll at that time to really elevate his confidence and elevate his game. Well, this is in every quarterback's tool belt. Even the ones not regarded as the best movers and shakers, but Kate, to play QB in the league today, you've got to be able to do this. If you've got nobody open, still get some positive yards with your legs. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Kenneth Walker gets it for the first time. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Two yards on the pickup, and that leaves him with third down and three. Staying with Walker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Find me an offense that won't take that type of result every snap. Good execution, a quality game, and then move the sticks. First down, ball at the 36. Running with Walker again. He's able to manage a couple on that run. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They'll give up the gut to Walker. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Only a couple yards there, and now it's third and seven. Out of the gun, here's Smith. That's caught by first. And they get this down to 44 before he stopped. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. Smith to the air now. Into the hands of Walker. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. That tackle made by the rookie from Penn State. It is so hard for these defenses. I don't envy them at all to try to monitor where these running backs are. Are they chipping? Are they delaying their route? It's such an underrated part of their overall passing game. This is Walker on second. And he'll get this down to the 40. They pick up one on the run. Need more, though. That takes him to third and five. Big loss. Now after the run, we see he's visibly shaken up. Team medical staffers headed over to take a look.
Fourth down punt from the Seahawks, and that means we're going to see Michael Dixon head on to send it skyward. And no chance at a return as this one heads across the sideline at the 25-yard line. Thought he had a chance to block it, but he ends up wiping out the kicker instead, and that's going to award their offense a first down. You gotta be smarter than that. No reason to hit the kicker there. That gives him a first down. And the shotgun, Howell. Fires over the middle, caught. And he's brought down at the 17 yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And it sets up Seattle with first down. Well, there's a time to be a little finessey with the football, put a little touch on, and then there's time Put your arm into it and let it eat. Throw it right through your target's chest. This one, well, that one right there was the ladder. Smart to make a fastball zing in before anyone could undercut the curl route. He brings it in. He's brought down a little short. No, actually, they do give him the 10-yard line. Second and three now. And off to Walker from the gun. And he'll go down shy of the end zone. They mark him at the four. It's a six-yard gain. That sets up first and goal. These aren't the plays that will lead highlight reels, but they're the ones that win you ball games. What a nice game by the back. And now his offense can go in any number of directions on first and ten. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Smith in the pistol. That's much too high and out of the end zone. Incomplete. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. Shotgun snap to Smith. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle! The Seahawks finish off their opening drive. So a touchdown on the board for Brock as they start this game off a perfect one for one offensively. Yeah, I'm going to call that scripting for success right there. Mm -hmm. Can't do it much better than that. And listen, when you script these first plays, you don't always know who the targets are going to be. It's really then relying upon what the defense is trying to take away. They couldn't take away that big old tight end. Now it's Jason Myers on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And we're all knotted up. Turn coming from the six. He's got a lane up past the 30. And a good return here as he gets it out past the 35. So Miami headed out for its second drive of the game. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you gotta imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't, right? But this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah, here. They gotta yeah. give their defense a chance to catch a breath and turn some of the momentum in the building. Thompson now. Ooh, almost a throw that cost him. Defender has it in his hands. They dropped it. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. Now, off play action. 
action. Bails out of the pocket quick. Oh, he's on the move, but so is the defense, and they take him down. And that pushes him back. Third down, coming up. This is a time where you get in that huddle and you just look at one another and say, hey, let's get back in there. Get back in there. Get something good to feel good about. Sure, you'd love to get the first down, but more than anything, just find a positive play after a huge sack. And the Seahawks added an extra DB here. Third down coming. To throw. Thompson. This finds Moster. And the defense is all over this one for big loss. It'd be kind of fun, Kate, to be able to measure these coordinators' blood pressure and temperature. Because the third down screen for negative yards, I promise you that coordinator's heated on the sidelines. Now it's Jake Bailey who's out to punt this for the Dolphins. And we'll see how his debut offering goes. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Seahawks football. Ball at the 33 for first down. First play of the drive. Here's Walker. And he has him a small chunk of yards up to the 42. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second and one. Well, he was a second late to break this one downfield. Still, a quick bounce to the outside and a counter play that gained some good, positive yards. From the 42. To the sideline, and he's got that cap. And he goes out, just need one more step there to reach midfield. Six yards on the play, and enough for a first. From the gun, Smith escapes the pocket. Oh, look at this. Here he goes. The 19-yard pickup, and that's going to move the chains. Well, I can tell you what. That was the goal from the moment he took off. Kept his eyes locked on the chains and made sure he set them up with a new set of downs. Well done. Ball at the 33 for first down. Now an inside give to Walker. And he pushed deep in enemy territory with that. Down inside the 25. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. It's Walker on the option. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That was the perfect play call for that particular situation. Gave him enough to pick up a first with some room to spare. The drive picks up here. First and ten. Second and ten. As a corner in this league, well, you can go to the Pro Bowl if you can cover. But you want to be an All-Pro, you stick someone like that. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Here's Smith. The throw is caught. He rolls up out of bounds, and that's going to be the end of the first quarter. That's the end of one. Both teams with a little luck finding the end zone early. Scoreboard showing sevens on each side. More from Lumen Field in just a minute. Back 
now for the second quarter. And the Seahawks, they have got to look towards the end zone. First and goal. Here's Walker. some space to work and from there all athleticism as he made his way in for six you know you run the ball down in the red zone Kate you're not always thinking touchdowns right space is so hard to come by but you, you're exactly right his athleticism his explosion his speed it puts six on the board for the offense Myers to add the PAT that one right down the middle and they'll continue adding to their lead To return, this is Braxton Berrios. Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. The Miami offense headed out there now. It's a touchdown ball game right now. Brock 14-7 as they start this possession. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Thompson now. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. to remind everybody about for the thousandth time how much better athletes these deep tackles are today, Kate. A decade or two ago, they just ate up space. Now, they eat up running backs. Here they come. This is third and five. Off the play fake. He's going to throw. takes the field on fourth down and he sends this one flying and they bring him down and put a stop to that return the Seahawks start headed out and we'll see Kenneth Walker they have played lights out on offense scored their first two times out Brock a chance to go three for three and grow that lead here I'm sure Kate that the coaches would prefer he not flirt with disaster on the return there's no additional damage done however this time once they get the ball back and everyone can breathe just a little bit easier. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. First play of the drive. Here's Walker. And he's dropped at the 37 after pushing this forward a bit. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. Play fake. Now Smith to throw. Short pass. Cut. Balls out. The ball's out. He lost it. And the Dolphins got it. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. We're using this 
play to try for a first down, but also set up what's ever in your back pocket for third down. But you know what? Throw it all away. None of it matters now if you can't hang on to the doggone football. And the defense pounces on that one in a hurry. The Dolphins offense ready to go as they take the field. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. So just like all touchdowns, all turnovers also reviewed, and they want to take another look at this one. Yeah, pretty bang-bang play out there. It's tough to see exactly what happened on our first look in real time. But you know what I like here, and I do appreciate, and these officials are so good and let the play just play itself out yeah. before calling it dead. Now all the replays and the camera angles will give us such a better idea of really what happened. So the nice defensive play, all for Knox. He was down first, no fumble. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Shotgun snap to Smith. Metcalf there to bring it in. And they're going to hold him down just shy of the 40. 12 yards on that play and a good call. And that's on the first. Inside give to Walker. And he's into the front for a game of about two. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They go play action. Here's Smith. This to Fant. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Give him 24 on that play. And the Seahawks will have a first down. That wasn't going anywhere else on that play. It's one of the ones called specifically for the tight end because they know he's able to get a good release off that play action. And then he gets himself in space to do some damage. All right, set now. First and 10. Off to Walker from the gun. In the middle holds. They don't get anything on the run. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Is that linebacker makes that tackle right in the middle of the field. All I'm thinking about right now, Kate's training camp. Because <laughs> that's the middle drill right there. That is textbook. What you do in training camp, coming to life when it matters. Out of the gun. Here's Smith. The throw is caught. to go. Pressure comes. Smith. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. You know, third and short is a difficult one to call. Do you want to run into the teeth of a defense looking for that handoff or try to throw it to him and use the element of surprise? Evidently, well, that's one they should have run instead. Third down pass didn't work, but the offense staying out there on fourth. Blitz coming for Smith. He connects downfield on four. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I love those moments of truth. We get to see exactly how they handle it with all the pressure that drives right on them. Turns out, handled it pretty darn well. And now they'll keep pushing on. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. We'll give up the gut to Walker. And he takes this one in for a seat. Touchdown! The Seahawks keep their drive alive and reach Pater one play later. Kenneth Walker, the touchdown. 
It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you instantly think of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. Myers to add the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Turning it from the four. He stopped on the return at the 27. Offense returning to the field now for the Dolphins. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Send Hill right. They go play action on first. And he finds the seam down the middle complete. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Would have liked to have kept that big play, but the officials and penalties say no, and it's got to come back. Jake Bailey on the punt. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. He fields it at his 43. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Seahawks start headed out, and we'll see Kenneth Walker. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And it'll be their football. The Seahawks in good field position to start this drive off as they head up to the line. First and ten. A play fake. Now Smith to throw. Metcalf there to bring it in. He's able to cross midfield before going out.
Second and six coming up here. Now an inside game to Walker. And they bring him down around right the 34. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. It was University of Wisconsin, Kate. The first time I heard this term, slow to explode through. And think how good that Badgers run game has been at the college level. Well, they made runs like that look easy. Slow to explode through. First down, and they go right back to it. And he'll get this down at the 33-yard line. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. It's third down. You know, that was a play, Kate, right there, where you need to buy your receivers just enough time to get open along their routes and your quarterback enough time to find and hit him with the throw. Time? Well, that's not what he had. O-line couldn't hold up, and it forces the incompletion. Smith on third and long. The screen pass falls incomplete. You know, that's an example right there where you just simply got to be on the same page with each other and get both ends of the play right to execute. They want that one back. Jason Myers out there now to try a field goal for the Seahawks on fourth down. This is going to be a tough one, 55 yards away. And this one had a brief chance, but not a good kick in the end. He misses it. And the lead stays frozen at 14. Well, once you get out beyond 50 yards, everything in the process has got to be perfect. It's a good effort, but it's going to wind up off the mark. Offense returning to the field now for the Dolphins. And this certainly isn't the rut they want to be in, Brock. All of their drives have been ending in punts as of late. in pretty good field position here as they come up first and ten. Throwing off the play fake here. Completes this one to Hill. And they're going to bring him down at the 36. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. I'll be honest with you, Kate. As you grow and develop as a quarterback, your arm gets stronger. These comebacks can be one of your favorite throws in your arsenal. Because if you trust yourself and you throw it before that defender breaks, you know there's yards to be had in the perimeter. Oh, missed assignment, and he finds the open man. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. He just made a difficult throw to the outside look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helps set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. And he's brought down for a loss. Situational football. Looking at first and goal, these defenses know what's coming at them. More often than not, a run play. It really is better to throw the ball unless you've got a way to disguise the run, and there was no disguising on that one. We're at the two-minute warning now from Seattle. The Dolphins looking for a score before halftime. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. 
to throw. Here's Thompson. To the edge of the end zone. And it's incomplete. Man, that ball looked good out of his hands. It just couldn't get through the defense cleanly. Somebody tips it away and saves a potential completion. So now here's third and goal. Throwing now, Thompson. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins make it a one-score game before halftime. Tyree killed the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. It's plays like this that make him so well regarded across this league, Brock. Yeah, so that's just a difference-making receiver, King. Yeah. You expect him to be the target down here. You did, I did, the defenders did. But what makes him a star is even when people know his number's being called, he still finds a way to deliver. Now we have a stoppage. No challenges inside of two minutes and a half, but the replay official wants to take another look at this on their own. At least right here is where having all those camera angles comes into play. We're going to get a much clearer picture thanks to all the shots we've got. Yep, technology, everybody's friend right now. We get to watch it again and again. Unlike these officials, we got to see it once in real time. We just have to see, is there clear enough evidence to overturn the call that was made down there on the field? No change to the call on the field. So that play is going to remain a touchdown. Extra point attempt coming from Sanders. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Starting from the five. Good looking return here, and he's got room. Some good work on that return, Brock. Gets this up to the 33. The Seahawks start headed out, and we'll see Kenneth Walker. And he has run rough shot over them in this opening half. Pretty sure this is the exact kind of start that he was hoping to have here. Ball at the 33 for first down. They go play action. Here's Smith. Rushed out of the pocket. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. We've got enough data now through the years to understand that an explosive play on offense more often than not leads to scoring. We also know if you can create a negative play defensively in a tightly contested game like this, every play matters. And to get that negative play, put this offense on their heels, exactly what this defense needed. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Give up the gut to Walker. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. Now the Dolphins call a timeout. It's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. And the Dolphins in a nickel set for this third down. Running with Walker again. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Timeout taken by the defense. They're second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. So fourth down and the big-legged Michael Dixon out to punt. Braxton Berrios deep for the Dolphins. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. 
the Dolphins and Tyree Kill headed back out on offense. And they have made it no secret that they want to go his way in this game, right? And the results so far, that's a very promising. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Back now, pressure on its way. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. Just stay on schedule. Just stay on schedule, right? SOS. Bad thing on a ship. Good thing on a football field. Even a little completion keeps this offense on schedule. Clock running. Dolphins will hurry to the line. Fires over the middle. Caught. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. buddy Jonathan Coachman okay Kate thanks very much and welcome in everyone to our EA Sports halftime report it was a strong first half for the former Spartan Kenneth Walker he chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go as always a hat tip to coach for his hard work during the break kids we're happy to welcome y'all back to the start of our third quarter to return it. This return makes it up to the 25. The Seahawks start headed out, and we'll see Kenneth Walker. And I think we can agree the plan to keep him out of the end zone and it hasn't quite worked so well for this defense, at least not yet. He scored twice, really being the one his group can turn to for a spark or a big play when they've needed it.
They're out and set. First and ten. First play of the drive. Here's Walker. And he can only manage one yard. The defenders were at the ready to bring him down. New set of downs is not off to a real good start here, Cates. And I know every yard counts in this league. But that lone yard, it's not going to really change what they're thinking about doing here on second down. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. This might be a free play for him. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And good tackle, but a flag is down, likely against the defense. Easy call for the officials there. He was offsides at the snap, and that's going to cost him. Back to the line they go. It's second down. They go play action. Here's Smith. Ooh, incomplete there on second down. But boy, a risky throw on a check down of all things. Nearly picked off and headed the other way. No connection on the last play. And out third down. Shotgun snap to Smith. And that's incomplete. He's going to wish he hung out of that pick there, but still going to bring up fourth down. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive down the field. Those windows and throwing lanes, Kate, are not open very long, and it only takes a little bit for a throw to be thrown off. Seahawks bring it out to punt team. Takes this in at the 25. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Miami offense set it out there now. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And, man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Now he'll throw off the play fake. He's trying to push the field. That's incomplete for the moment. We do have a flag down, but it might not be good news for their offense. That's usually where we see holding calls. So the refs get him for holding, and that's going to back this offense up. Double the distance to go after that holding call. It's now first and 20. Thompson back to throw. Could connect right side. It's incomplete. The tip definitely broke up that throw. So now it's second and long. I mean, you can see it right there. The trajectory of the ball changed as it was in flight. You know, on shorter throws, receivers, they can focus, they can adjust quickly. But on a long distance throw like that, a tip it really alters the course of the ball and makes it so tough to make an adjustment in time. And he found some running room for a nice game. They get seven on the run, but still third and 13 to go. Turn. 
That punt finishes as a 60-yard effort. And they're going to take over possession. Drive starts out with a first and ten. A play fake. Now Smith to throw. Connection made to Smith and Jigba. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He picks up 28 on the play. And it sets up Seattle with first down. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Before the snap, some early movement. Let's see which side gets tagged with the penalty. He thought he had the timing down and could make the play, but just a hair too early. So they'll only need five now after that neutral zone infraction penalty. They go play action. Here's Smith. It's caught Metcalf. And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. That's 16 on the pickup. And the Seahawks will have a first down. Well, the odds aren't great when you throw into double coverage. Normally, you see one of the defenders make a play on the ball. Two men nearby, and that's a missed opportunity for the coverage to make an impact play. He's able to take this down to the red zone. He stopped at the 17. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. It's Walker on the option. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Play running back in this league, boy, you've got to have tremendous vision. We saw it twice. Once to find the lane of field, and then to get to space and break off some extra yards. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Staying with Walker. And he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. Okay, all right. There's a little progress on first and goal. You keep it safe, you push a little closer, and now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. It's second and goal. Trying again, Walker. You know this better than most. In baseball, it's three strikes and you're out. I know you experience that a lot. But on the gridiron, you're feeling pretty happy, right? If you can strike the end zone three times in one game. Yeah, I'd rather go hockey and soccer. That's just a positive guy <laughs> in me. They call that a hat trick. It's worth celebrating. You. And yeah, they should celebrate this effort. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Here's a return from the seven. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Dolphins and Tyreek Hill headed back out on offense. Starts out with a first and ten. Back 
to throw. Here's Thompson. This is caught by Jalen Waddle. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. The nice thing about a drag route is it works versus zone. You can find that soft spot and get a completion. But they can be very effective when you've got an excellent route runner running away on that drag route for main coverage. Hands it to the receiver here in motion. Oh, look at this sweep. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. This offense will take that from their ground game every time. But I know that I've been around this league a long time. Runs like that, they're really hard to come back. It takes everybody. Maybe a little breakdown there on defense, too, to take advantage of. Here's Thompson. Completes this one to Hill. He's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And it'll be first down Miami. They're set up at the 35 now. Motioning in the tight end now. Now Thompson to throw. He's got Smith. And this one doesn't go far. That's just discipline with a capital D. The play in the huddle is a running back screen, but it takes discipline for that offensive line to not get downfield. Discipline for that receiver to stay alert, stay aware that he's a viable option as well. Second down now, seven to go. Coaches and coverage. Woo! Bringing a sigh of relief. There was space right there. If that throw came one second earlier, that was going to be six. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Thompson now. Everything in the rhythm and timing of your offense. All of these negative plays. Hey, this league and this game is hard enough when you're on schedule. All of these sacks set you behind the chains. And you've seen how disruptive it is for this offense. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that'll get him back to 11. I know they love that golf adage. Drive for show, putt for dough, but it's awfully nice to drive for show and to have that kind of weapon in your back pocket. Sanders all set to send it away. Fielded at the seven. In pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Seahawks start headed out, and we'll see Kenneth Walker. They're out and set. First and ten. Looking to throw. Smith. Metcalf's got it. Complete. They get 13 on the pickup. And the Seahawks will have a first down.
Now, don't think for a second they're going to slow down the tempo. Defense on their heels. And right now is the best chance to go push that envelope and get aggressive. First and 10. Ball set up at the 48. Out of the gun. Here's Smith. Can't connect on the short throw. It's incomplete. Trying getting it to Tyler Lockett. So that brings up second down. Walker now from the gun. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. I don't know, Kay. I didn't think he had it. That back did. He knew exactly where he had to get for the first down. Pops up right away and signals first down. You set it down for him at the 38. They go play action. Here's Smith. Taking a big shot for the end zone. And this is going to end up incomplete. He really aired it out there on first down, but just couldn't make the connection. You hear defensive coaches preach this all the time about not giving up the big play. Keep everything in front of you. They're going to need to stay vigilant because he's definitely a receiver who can take the lid off of a defense. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Back to the air. It's Smith. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Trying getting it to Tyler Lockett. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. on some of these intermediate throws, those chunk throws. Getting a completion like that, well, not only does it spark your offense, but it just sets you up for even more aggressive play calling. For the second time today, they're going to run the kick team out for the field goal. This is a 55-yard look from the left hand. And that one is not where he needed it to be. It is off and no good. And the game stays at 11. He was hitting from that distance pregame. Heck, we were on the field watching it, and they were confident he could do so again. This did not work out this time around. The Dolphins and Tyreek Hill headed back out on offense. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. The Dolphins in pretty good field position here as they come up first and ten. That's Hill on the slant. And they make the tackle at the 38. The big play at some 17 yards. And it'll be first down Miami. He did such a good job of not just hitting him in a window on that slant, in the right window, but hitting him right on time, right in a spot where he had room to run and add on to that catch. He's got it, room to run.
Receiver's going to take this one on the jet sweep. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. It's Dolphins ball, and they're sort of in comeback mode. They trail to start the fourth. ready to begin this drive first and ten first play of the drive here's Walker and he'll get up in the 38 yard line before going down you know you love some of my buzzwords kid I know you do and this one this one was about Will Powell he got to rock a long way from the chains and put his teammates on his back for a heck of a run and a great try at that first down in a good spot here, second and inches. Running with Walker again. He's got the upper room here. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a massive 35-yard pickup, first down. That's certainly a spot where you could be more aggressive, Kate, if you want to take your shots. And some coaches, even the bolder ones, will take the safe play first when they get it from time to time. No third down required now. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Tight end going in motion here. First down, Smith to throw. It's cut, Metcalf. Inside the red zone. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. That throw doesn't lead to six. So now it'll be second and goal. Boy, offenses that connect in this intermediate zone are so effective. Getting the completion in that area 
it not just sparks your offense, but it just turns that aggressive meter way up. They just couldn't quite find the connection. Walker now from the gun. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Kate, you know exactly what term I think of in a spot like this. Sticking his face in the fan. Because there are a lot of bigger bodies for a corner to sort through right there in the middle of the field. But he still charged in, made that stop happen, and I promise you, his teammates notice. On third and goal, Smith. And he sails that one right over the end zone. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive downfield. I love the call. I love pushing the ball down the field. But the windows and the throwing lanes aren't there long. And it only takes a little bit for a throw to be off. An important attempt coming up here for Jason Myers. A very short kick here from the right hand. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it's now a two-possession game as the lead grows to 11. It doesn't take a math major, Kate, to realize how important that field goal was. It's now a two-score game really late and puts them in the driver's seat to go and finish this thing with the win. Here's a return from the seven. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Dolphins sending their offense back out there. And down double digits, Brock. Field goals like we saw in their last drive aren't going to move the needle as much as they need to. down because you call a screen on first you're thinking stay ahead of schedule even a minimal gain to stay on pace but instead the defense creates a negative play and sets him back behind the sticks here's second and 14 this fine smith and it's a nice game but still not enough for the first you get this big old dude like him in the slot, it's an automatic mismatch advantage. You train a little bit of speed, sure. But you sure do get a lot of size. And anytime he's in the slot, you gotta assume the ball's going his way. Chance to have the chains here on third and four. Now tops in the throw. That's caught for the first. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs.
So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. Back to throw. Here's Thompson. Finds his man, Waddle. And they're going to haul him down a step before the 30, right at the 31. Second and ten, we need to get some positive yardage here. Opening carry for Devon Achan. And that run very short, only getting to the 27. Give him three that time. That's going to bring up third and seven. Jason Sanders leading the Dolphins field goal unit out. There's a 44-yard look from the right hand. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And it pulls him back within one score here in the fourth. This is a case of, well, just get what you can on the way out the door, Kate. It's already out of reach. Just take the three, let your kicker get some points, and make it a hair closer in the box score. advancing the football pretty well. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Smith back to throw. Escapes the pocket. He keeps it and takes off. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Toss play. This is Walker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chain. A lot of times we will see defenses get so overcommitted to defending that inside run, they're vulnerable to the outside toss. And that's when things open up and you can reset those downs. On the 44-yard line now, first and ten. Here's Walker running right. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Staying with Walker. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Only a couple yards there, and now it's third and seven. So we're down to two-minute warning here from Seattle. Seahawks leading by eight. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. He'll throw it. Here 
They're set up at the 35 now. Walker on first down. Breaks the tackle. Still going. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Now whistles at a timeout taken quickly by the defense. 1.50 left to go. Second and six coming up here. Running with Walker again. And that run very short, only getting to the 27. The Dolphins choosing to spend their final time out here. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. All plays on the table here for third and three. Back to throw it. Complete beyond the marker. He's brought down at the 17-yard line. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And the Seahawks will have a first down. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. And they'll take a knee. This is situational football at its best. There's still some time left to bleed off the clock. But the really important thing here is you've got to bleed every second of that clock that you can. A kneel down here, and they can start to celebrate this win. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. Now for one final kneel down, partner, and this should do it. So several thousand 12th men and women cheering as the Seahawks win at home. And finally, Brock, they can exhale and take a few breaths. Because uh, I don't imagine any of them would breathe it easy during that one. How close this game was. Yes. <laughs> all of us. D, yeah, all is, of the above. It, it is so hard, Kate, to match the adrenaline surge they feel right now and that they felt in every major turn throughout the second half. There's just something about a close game, the intensity that's there in every moment that you love to experience as a player. And that you hope in all these moments you can execute so you're the one celebrating and riding that wave of emotion.